Ahead of the 2023 general election, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, announced that a total of 1,091,157 old permanent voters' cards are still uncollected by their owners in Lagos State. As the 2023 election drew near, media scholar Farouk Perogi on Wednesday questioned why Bola Tinubu, presidential candidate of the ruling All Progressive Congress, did not participate in a mandatory National Youth Service Corp scheme, even when he was eligible to do so. Perogi had put further, asking why the APC chieftain did not participate in a mandatory NYSC when he was younger than 30 at the time he earned his bachelor's degree. Governor Belo Matawale of Zamfara State has doubled down on his directive that residents of the state should acquire guns to defend themselves against bandits. The governor says there's no going back on the directive in spite of the reservation of Chief of Defense Loki Irabo on the matter. In a bid to implement the strategies mapped out by his administration to fight banditry in the state, the governor has inaugurated four committees on security matters and also provided 20 brand new Hilux vehicles and 1,500 motorbikes for the commencement of operations. The Inuit State Governor Samuel Autumn accused the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, Atiku Abubakar, of failing to honor the democratic choice in the selection of his running mate. Autumn also noted the failure of Atiku to reach out to the governor of River State, Yesun Wiki, and some other aggrieved members of the party after picking Governor Ifai Okowa of Delta State as his vice presidential candidate. He's carrying arms the way forward.